Welcome to Flash CS6 Tutorial 37, Maze with Animation Part 3. It's a follow-up to the Tutorial 36 was Maze with Animation Part 2. That's what I have opened on my computer. All right, now the animation part. Back on the main timeline, and all my layers are locked. I'm going to unlock the walls layer. I'm going to select wall number two, double click on it. Now I'm inside the wall two movie clip. And what I want to do is make this wall um, expand and, and, and move in and out. The, and because it's the, the first uh, path, we got to give them a little bit of chance to make, make it here. And then we can make these ones more, more uh, narrow sort of thing. So, um, I'm highlighting this, this wall. I'm going to right click, convert it to a symbol. Make sure movie clip is selected. Make sure this center registration point is selected. And I'm going to call this WALL2. And I'm putting a large MC to let me know it's a movie clip inside of my movie clip underscore MC. Uh, I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it in just in case somewhere along the way I need to write code for it. Now, I'm picking up my free transform tool. You see how it gets all those little squares. I'm going to go up to about 40 on my timeline, insert a keyframe. I'm going to go up to about 100, insert a keyframe. Uh, 165 each insert a keyframe and we'll do one more around 235 each insert a keyframe so I got all these keyframes here I'm going to just click on this and make this ever so small now you see how it's both both are moving I don't want that to happen so if I take this and put it there I believe I should move this and only this part moves so I'm going to move it without touching the mouse I don't want to be touching my my player here I'm going to make it a little bit more up again I got to move this back here so it doesn't move just move a little bit and right click in here create a classic tween so I have this going on. See how that happens? Okay, there it is there. I now want to go up to this one. And if I look at this, it's very, it's way over here. Then it's closing in. Now I want to bring it back. So if I click here, that's where I want it back to. Actually, I'm going to bring it back in a little bit more. So if I got to move this over again. So just this part moves. Don't touch the player. Insert a classic tween. Just got to make sure it's the only thing that's moving is that. Yes, that's okay. Come to this one. Again, move that little dot over. Just move it open a little bit. Insert classic tween or create classic tween. That's working good. And the last one here puts it back where it was. Whoops. I keep forgetting to move that little dot over. Now, if you're doing this one here, you want to keep it. I'll do this one after anyway. And create a classic tween. So let's see what that's doing. Control, test movie, test. See, it's getting smaller, bigger, smaller. Okay. Don't worry about this this up here we can fix that after as long as the most as long as the player can still get up through there 
even at its smallest. So I'm going to put the, the player up here. It's not hitting them. That's good. Actually, it could have went a little bit more. So now let's do number seven, this one. And because seven has two sides, we can actually do it, do both sides. So close it off, go back to scene one, double click on number seven, pick up your selection tool, it's all fuzzy, right click, convert it to a symbol. I think I might be able to just paste this in. Yeah, this will be wall seven, capital MC underscore MC. Copy that just in case we're going to do some code on it somewhere along the way. Paste it in. Now pick up that free transform tool again. And because I want it to move in both ways, I'm going to move it in a little bit. I'm just going to try it there just to see if the player hits it. Control test movie test. Oh, he's got lots of room. Lots of room. I'm going to do a little more. Control, test, movie, test. Very close. Very close. Good. So that's the most narrow I want this one to be. And let's go up to 50. Insert keyframe. Go up to 110. Insert keyframe. Going up to 180, insert keyframe. You want at least four of these. And up to 255 each, insert keyframe. Okay, there it is at its most nar narrow. I want to make this a little bit wide here. Create classic tween. There it is at its narrow again. Create classic tween. See that? Well, it's small. Okay. Click here. Bring it in. Create classic tween. And this one, all we got to do is create classic tween. Now let's see what that looks like. Control, test, movie, test. See, it's going in and out. And I think if he just goes straight, he can go through there, and that's no problem. Now we can start making it difficult for him so that it gets too narrow here. If it gets too narrow here, he's going to have to wait to get by it. So let's do number one. I'll show you what I mean. Back to scene one. We're in wall number one. Pick up my selection tool. Right click. Convert it to a symbol. Paste. And this is wall number one. MC underscore MC. Copy that. Paste it in. And I'll show you what I mean. Now this one. We're going to want it so he cannot get by. So pick up my free transform tool and drag it down like that. Oh, again, I should have moved this thing up the top. And I'm going to drag this down so he can't possibly get by there. He's going to have to wait. And let's get, let him wait for a bit. Insert keyframe. Insert keyframe, do four of these. Insert keyframe, one more. Insert keyframe. Okay, there it is at its, we'll call it its longest. And we want it to go here. So again, move that circle up there. Oops, wrong thing. Get that circle, move that circle up there. Oh, it is, it's okay. And now we wanna take this and make it wide enough for him to get through. Create a classic tween. And if I look at that, 
that's where it's up its highest. This is where it's at its lowest. Create a classic tween here. There's where it's at its lowest. So we want to make this one its highest. And as long as that circle's up there, we're all right. Make it back up here. Create classic tween. And here, create classic tween. So now, this is going to be a bit more tricky. No problem getting up here. But when he gets here, you got to be careful. See? There, it hit. Hitting, hitting, hitting. So now, what we're going to do now is we're going to change the... So once you have all them, once you have all them done, we're going to change the rules of the game. So you're going to have all your your um, squares moving. So that's the animation part. Back to scene one. Block all the layers. And that green square here. So unlock this stop start layer. Just select this little square. Open the properties panel and write down the X and Y coordinate. In my case, the X is 556, and my Y coordinate is 411. Now yours are going to be different. 56, 4, and 11. That's what mine are. Okay, lock that layer. Open the... Now here, in my Actions panel, down here where we do these hits, and tell it to stop. Now, this maze, we're not going to tell it to stop. We're, if you hit any wall, the game's over. You're going to start again. So let's just put two forward slashes here. Copy that. Put an enter. Paste it in. I want to keep that X player player underscore period x its coordinate equals and I have an x coordinate of 56 that's what I wrote down semicolon copy that paste it back in change the x to a y and in my case my y coordinate was 411 now, copy those two lines, come down to the next one, down here, I don't want that anymore to happen, two forward slashes, enter in there, paste it in, come down here, two forward slashes, paste it in, and the last one, two forward slashes, paste it in. Control, test movie, test. Now, as soon as I hit a wall, I jump right back. Now, for some reason, it's, it's slightly off. I gotta check with that. What's, what's wrong with that? It could be because my mouse wasn't my, because my player wasn't centered. So let's do that for a minute. Let's just check that. Do, 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 player right here player there he is get your selection tool highlight just your player and ah there's my coordinates for my player I did the coordinates for the block and the player probably wasn't centered when we made it a movie clip so I gotta get this new settings here so my X will be 70.4 and my Y is going to be 423.85. No big deal. Go back to the actions code. My X is, I think I said 70.4. I think that's what I said. And my Y was 423.85, I believe. 
and I'm just going to copy those two lines come up here paste them in come up here paste them in come up here and paste them in now let's see if that works any better if I hit the wall bing put you back where I was hit that wall bing back where I am now I gotta wait here I gotta wait oh I just make it oh I hit the wall try again I gotta wait till that's high oh gotta wait till that's okay wait till it's getting high now I gotta go real fast got it see that okay now all I gotta do is fill in in these spots here and the easiest way to do that is to make a layer uh, all the layers are locked I want it to be under my walls so right here select the path layer insert a layer call it fill f-i-l-l -L. and what you want to do is I noticed that I needed a fill right here because I noticed this, this gap opened up and all you do is take a rectangle tool no stroke I want the red fill and I'm going to color turn off the walls so I don't see the walls and what I'm going to do is just right here I noticed there was a crack and put that in like that so now when I test it that's opening and closing and we don't see it all right now this I'm going to treat different I'm going to take once I do that I'm going to just take and uh, unlock my my paths there's all my paths are unlocked see them uh, I just go right here with my selection tool right click uh, select all so I'm selecting all my paths if I open my properties panel there are 30 I'm going to change them to 50 and I believe this will satisfy that control test movie tests here it is see this is expanding and subtracting it's very good I'm happy with that oh it wasn't fast enough I gotta wait till it starts to grow I'm gonna sit here and wait and now I can move up once and come quickly to there I think that's good enough you can play around with where you've got some some gaps like down here you can put some red if you want I want to um, see the walls again and what I'm gonna do with this walls label this this layer here is double click on it and this menu opens up and go to mask click mask say okay so now they disappear that way there anytime you want to work on it and change something you just come back here double click on it and click normal so that way there we're not going to see them when we those numbers when we test our video and I think that's it for this tutorial I hope you learned something from these tutorials and I hope you use what you learn